Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michael here from MB Fishing. Um, coming at you guys with another episode. I'm going to show you guys all of my freshwater fishing tackle. Alright, so here we go guys. I go old school with a Plano tackle box. I've had this thing for like forever. But you can see there, it gets a little bit messy. See all my stuff in there. Also, I have some stuff in here too. So, I mean, I'll go through this first. This is just, I have one bag of plastics. Um, must add frog hooks. A crank Sibyl deep diver. Um, I have a little buzz bait. Caught a bunch of fish on this bait. So much so that the little, uh, little metal thing right there is like completely bent almost in half. Um, this is a little box that I keep all my trout stuff in if I'm like hiking around. So there's basically just spoons. Um, here's an, here's a Bagley crankbait. Um, these are all just worthless, lipless cranks, crankbaits. Here's a, uh, here's a oversized jerk bait that I have. Um, I believe it's a Rapala Husky jerk. Um, I bought this for fishing for muskies at a lake nearby. So I have all that stuff. By the way, I don't know how many of you guys are subscribed to, um, MTB, they're a great company. Um, personally, I'm not subscribed to them anymore. Um, it's kind of a sad situation because I just don't have enough money to keep buying the boxes. It's like $25 a month to get MTB Pro, which in my opinion is the best value and they always send you great stuff. But I just didn't have $25 a month to keep spending on baits. But here, if you guys are subscribed to MT MTB Pro, they make a great box to sort store your plastics in. So like in here I have power bait chigger cross, uh, zoom finesse worms with uh, electric shag color, Gary Yamamoto four inch Senkos, um, zoom super flukes and Arkansas shiner, um, big bite baits, um, this came in a MTB thing, but these worms are pretty nice. Uh, zoom trick worms and green flash. The, here's another MTB bait, Whiskey River Bait Company tubes. I would use these. These these would be great for smallmouth, except I do not have any um, tube hooks, so I got to pick those up. Here's kind of falling apart, but this is um, an owner, fancy owner jig rig. So it's like kind of like a drop shot kind of thing, but you have your bait like directly on it. It's kind of weird. I don't know how it works for sure. And I think you tie your line to like the big ring right there. And I have uh, V&M split tail beavers, another pack that I got from um, from MTB Rage Tail Craws these work as a great jig trailer they have a ton of action and uh, Gary Yamamoto limited edition 5 inch Senkos in bluegrass alright so I'm just going to push all that aside um, go into what I have in my tackle box here a lot of stuff that I have is unopened or I just leave it in packages because it keeps it organized but I'll start off at the top here. It's not super organized, but here I just have a shaky head on uh, with like a kind of beaver sort of thing. This custom bait that a guy that lives uh, in central Pennsylvania sent me to try out his custom baits. Um, some random jerk bait, I don't know what company it is. This giant uh, curly tail grub that I found at a pond I was fishing. 
so I don't know if I'll end up trying that anytime soon, but it looks nice. Um, this is a really nice lipless crank. I do not know what company this is, but it's very good. It's caught a bunch of fish, especially on the Schuylkill River, which is the river that runs near my house. Uh, largemouth and smallmouth absolutely love this because there's a bunch of shad in the river. Random Senko. Uh, KVD 1.5 square bill, Rapala original, um, another one of the custom worms that the guy sent me, I have that just on the hook, um, form sent on a wacky hook, here's a Rapala, Rapala X-Rap popper, see that, has a big wide mouth, I actually, I let my friend borrow this one time, and we are fishing at a bass pond and uh, he was just ripping it across the surface because I had had a bunch of luck um, on top water earlier that day and he ended up catching like the biggest crappie I'd ever seen on this top water so I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys but I, I thought that was insane it was literally bigger than my hand and I mean I'm 6'3 I have pretty big hands but here is um Another KVD square bill, little swim bait. I have some spinners in there, some random hooks. Uh, Rapala lipless crankbait. Again, in that shad color, you gotta match the hatch always, as fly fishermen say. Um, always gotta match what's in your local waters. It gives you more of a chance to get a bite. Um, here's another, he's a jointed Shad wrap, I think it is, by Rapala. It's another shad imitation. Um, Rapala original, but this is a sinking one. And I have... Uh, here's another really nice jig that I got from MTB, and I have that with the Rage Craw trailer. So, on to... Uh, the next level. This is where I have most of my... Um, topwater baits. I have a uh, Livingston Spook. Here's um, I haven't, I haven't caught any fish on it here if I can get it unhooked. This is what I use these um, they're Bruiser Baits Watermelon Candy Thrashers. So I guess they're supposed to imitate a frog but and that's what the MTB box that came with the frog hooks and uh, that's what it looks like all rigged up but I really haven't caught any fish on it it's Chase you wanna go potty? come on alright let's go alright Chase come on let's go quick it's cold outside good boy yeah alright Alright, what's up guys? Sorry about that. I went downstairs because my GoPro battery just died. And I went to get my my Nikon camera. And I ended up getting roped into taking my dog out. So bear with me for a little bit. You guys are gonna get that annoying um focusing sound, but I'm gonna set my camera down and leave it on straight up focus for you guys. Alright, so just hold on a minute. Alright guys, sorry about that, um, basically what I was just saying about this, I'll try to leave off where I left. Alright, let's see if I can focus it. It doesn't really want to focus. Okay, but, um, just leave that right there. Uh, this bait doesn't really like to stay on the surface, so that's why I didn't really use it too much. Alright, so... We have the uh, Livingston Spook in kind of like a crappie shad kind of coloration. I'm not sure what it's specifically called, but it makes like those bait sound things, so it's pretty sweet. Um, random jerk bait. Another Rapala crankbait, but this one's kind of like deeper diving. It has a weird lip. Um, Sabeel Frog, Live Target Sunfish, this thing, you can see by the eye, if it focuses, 
This is one of my favorite um, favorite top water lures to use. Um, you can see the hooks are really nice. They're trocar, so they're really, really sharp. Um, my only complaint with this bait is that if you get a bunch of hits on it, one, it swamps, but it's easy to fix. You just kind of have to move the weight on the bottom back into place. But number two, um, you really got to let them take it. So if you're fishing this like a frog, like kind of walking it and you get bit, you got to let them take it for a second or two for them to really get it. Because I've missed so many fish from just like taking a swing at them, like a reaction, and you just rip it straight out of their mouth. Um, here's another frog. I'm not sure which kind this is. Um, some Japanese jerk bait that MTB sent. It's pretty sweet looking. And here's another big jerk bait. I'm pretty sure this is a Rapala X Wrap, which is pretty nice. And then <clears throat> I have a black and blue jig here for that dirty water with a Jigger Craw trailer. Um, another jerk bait, random lip lipless crank I found at the bottom of the river, little shad swim bait, um, also I have a really big shad pattern buzz bait that came with the trailer hook, it's pretty sweet. Always, I always recommend putting a trailer hook on buzz baits or um, spinner baits because you always end up connecting with more fish and you miss a lot less. As I think, um, I think I was showing you guys here. Let me find it. This this buzz bait. It's really really small, but at my local pond, I mean, I've caught so many fish on this thing and just on the trailer hook too. Like if you bounce it off of a log or whatever, get those reaction strikes, which are great. So going into the bottom here, let me see if I can pick this up. All right, sweet. I got three out, Gamagatsu off shank worm hooks, um, VMC four out fast grip wide worm hooks, and I just have a bunch of random hooks in here. They're all like Gamagatsu and stuff. Here's my pack of trailer hooks right there. Um, wacky weedless hooks. VMC rugby jigs. All right, this wasn't a shaky head. It ended up being a rugby jig, so I'm sorry for mispronouncing that. But let's see. Also have some wine down here, some Andy 10 pound mono, a suffix 12 pound fluorocarbon. I usually keep this stuff and tie it onto braid for leaders if I'm like worm fishing or whatever. Um, have some bluegill swim baits by Storm. These things are great if you're fishing on beds because if you just plop these in the middle of a bass bed and kind of just jig them around bass will destroy them especially at a small one like this size um i have a ton of weights there too for like when i'm catfishing or whatever and just some more hooks down there and then this is uh the bag of baits that I got. So he sent me all kinds of stuff. He packaged them all in different colors. If you guys want to follow him, it is Walker Smith Fishing, I'm pretty sure, on Instagram. He's a uh, smallmouth guide on the Susquehanna River. So shout out to him for sending me all these baits. So there's, uh, I mean, I'll just show you this one pack. But he included like this crawdad kind of thing. Paddle tail beaver. 
and then finesse worms, two finesse worms in each color. So I think he sent me, this is like a purple sort of, purple, like a clear watermelon flake. And this one's more, this is like purple with a dark blue flake. And then this one's green with dark blue flake. All right, guys, so that's my video for the day. Um, I will be posting in the next couple of days, I'll be posting a saltwater tackle video. So if you guys are into saltwater fishing, you know, be first. Stay tuned and check out that episode. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, guys, see ya, have a good night.